you folks. I'm at my friend's place. Well, actually, you know, Elk here. Here she is in the kitchen. Um, this is her place. And it is incredible. And I'm able to show it because she's actually moving. So <laughs> she, you can't dox her somewhere. But look at this. Do you know how much she pays for this place? <laughs> Can you guess? Should we tell them or should we have them guess in the comments? It's up to you. You know your audience best. You gotta guess in the comments how much the rent is. The rent is stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. Anyway, I might tell you later. We'll see. <laughs> All right. We have stuffed mushrooms. Yeah, is that what these are called? Um, they're butter garlic mushrooms. Butter garlic mushrooms, even better. Garlic butter, yeah. Even better. Some yeah, pasta. I'm trying to drop most Some of the butter sauce. from the center. <laughs> it's okay, it might happen, but as long as they're like in it, yeah. Then we're all gonna win. Exactly. We're gonna be just, um, yeah, we're all gonna be very happy. It's gonna be good. Yeah. And then, we're gonna eat out here, beautiful Wisconsin springtime. Pretty good. Day. Yeah, we're going to the Weird Grocery Store. <laughs> is his official name. The Weird Grocery Store. We're gonna see what they have. This has been like another perfect day. It's making it difficult to think about leaving uh, Madison. <laughs> this is pretty nice here, and the only thing waiting for me on the other side of the flight tomorrow is work. <laughs> it's a hard thing about vacation. Yeah, is this a vacation? I worked. It's a vacation. You can have a vacation every weekend. I don't know. The right mi mindset. The I guess so. Well, I came out here for business, though. Eh. The business of eh. scholarly business. Business just pays for our vacations. Bu <laughs> scholarly business. <laughs> That's why I was here. Actually, it's kind of weird because I really do enjoy um, what I do. And so it's difficult for me to think about a distinction between work and fun unless it's video games. <laughs> and it's obviously not work, but I have... <laughs> I was like, it's obviously not fun and just work. <laughs> could be. It depends on the game, I guess. Depends on what you're talking about, but it also could be... Uh, I have written about video games, so... I published on that, so... It could be, but... I don't know. It is a weird life doing the professor thing, because... It is difficult to you when you're gonna take a break what are you gonna do so I remember when the economy was really bad some of my friends were put on furlough and they were like well don't don't work two days a week and like what does that mean like can I, am I not allowed to read a book <laughs> like what's the difference between work and you know joyful stuff maybe it's better to have a line there but I don't know I can't find it unless it's video games then it's obvious that I'm not doing anything productive that's fine. That's fine. Is this a little library or a little, or is it a little rat den, a little <laughs> rat cage? We're gonna stop. Okay, cool. Let's see what they have. It opens the. Uh, this is the boring library part, which is great. And then there's this part, and you look in there. Oh, there's a little chickens. Yeah, and look there's more that. stuff in there. Yeah, that's like a real bird's nest. Yeah. It's pretty cool. They've got a lot of books in there. Yeah. Mostly for kids, it looks like. It varies. It depends. Except for like, you know, elements of journalism. Yeah. Uh, Narrative Life of Frederick Douglass is in there. That's a great book. Yeah, my hair is just not going to look good in Wisconsin. Just never. How beautiful it's life. Mmm, indeed. And how life is beautiful? I don't know. We'll work on it. That's not true. <laughs> I like how you have a commentary on every on every decoration these people have put in their yard. That's this is good. Box. Yeah, this is good. This is like mini skate ramp bam. Oh, nice. A little half pipe. Yeah. A half half pipe. Mm -hmm. Quarter pipe. Not really. I'm gonna film them. Hey rabbits. Can you call a rabbit like that? I don't know. They don't seem to be answering, so probably not. 
Yeah, well. Yo, bunny, 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 <clears throat> bunny. I don't think bunny, bunny is going to work. I think bunny, bunny is going to work. <laughs> hey, bunny, 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 swing bunny. <laughs> Listen, hey, your thing didn't work. I'm allowed to try my own thing. <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> People are going to be like, this is a very exclusive vlog. It's like all me. <laughs> and you're like walking ahead of me, like giving commentary. <laughs> yeah, this neighborhood is very quiet. Mm -hmm. This reminds me a lot of, um, this neighborhood reminds me a lot of neighborhoods in Billings, Montana, actually. Mm -hmm. Very similar. Yeah. I like this. this is nice. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty cool. It's a good break. It is. A good break from what? Life. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think actually, like, that is actually imperative for humanity. It's like, it doesn't matter where you live, but you need to be taking regular breaks from whatever the speed is of what you're doing mm -hmm. so that you mm -hmm. appreciate the speed that you were in and you appreciate what you were surrounded by and what you have access to as a human. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we're doing the same thing all the time, we lose that perspective. So, everybody should take a geography vacation. Yes. I don't know what to call it. We need a better name than that. Environment vacation. Envirocation. Yeah. Which sounds like invocation. <laughs> We're a very deep crew. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's one way to describe it. We're like a deep ocean diving crew, but it's like metaphors. <laughs> We're very deep, but it's only a metaphor. <laughs> like that sign the end gerrymandering sign mm -hmm. I had to get a shot of that I thought it was good oh wow it looked pretty good in the sun <laughs> praise the sun Dark Souls fans <laughs> yeah these houses are just like like ranch style. they don't this ranch style? it is kind of ranch it's like I don't know I don't know enough about architecture to say but I tell you it's like it doesn't look like any Bungalows. neighborhood it doesn't look like any neighborhood I grew up around in Texas at all. Yeah. Texas houses are way different. But Texas it's also the age. Life? Well, you know, I also lived in neighborhoods that were relatively new. So these are like older houses. These are like 1950s houses. Yeah, they definitely look like 50s houses, but they also have that sense of like, I don't know, it just looks like Montana like to me. Yeah, I like them all. I love them. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that these are like not houses I would want to live in, but the it just looks like yeah. Montana. Yeah. The Midwest, and as you go north in the Midwest, you get more and more houses that look like this. I feel like. Are we almost there? How yeah. far is it? Yeah, uh, we're just around the corner. Oh, I'm getting excited about the uh, yeah. fancy grocery store, fancy Wisconsin grocery it's store. The start of Warner Park, which is the biggest park in this area, and it like later when we go down, this will lead us to the lake. Oh, very good. 